kilos. It is time to meet our fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, making his AFC debut, representing Shea Walsh and MA, it's David Fox. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, with an AFC record of one win and no defeats, representing Fight Ministry Grimsby, it's Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and those watching on Proper Sport. We have a UAR catchweight bout at 80 kilograms. We have David Fox in the orange or yellow black shorts. Fighting out of Shea Walsh MMA taking on Dan Nee from Fight Ministry Grimsby in the grey shorts. Connor Halliday alongside Danny Missing. Ooh. Oh, Fox catches him with a nice left hook. Beautiful sprawl there by Fox. I was just about to say, uh, Neve's looking like a very imposing character in there. It's quite a significant strike, uh, size difference, but I don't think Fox cares about that tonight. Nope. I was talking, I was talking to Shea Walsh guys earlier, and they're well up for tonight. I think we've got a couple of couple of uh, debut fighters on, and uh, one who's had a couple of fights. Yeah, we've got a mark under the uh, right eye of, of that was Neve that already up. from that left hook. Yeah. yeah, it was counter left hook. It was beautiful, but there we go. That's Neve showing his uh, physical dominance there and just picking him up and turning his man Spins over straight into that seatbelt position now. Good roll again. Oh, and, he takes and he's the caught back. the back as wow. he got it in. We can't see from our vantage point no. here, but David Fox right in his corner as well. Got Shea Walsh in his corner, very experienced fighter on the UK scene. Still one of my favourite fights yeah. ever with Shea Walsh when he got his jaw broken and hit it from referee. <laughs> oh my God, what a warrior! So if Fox takes after his coach, he's going to be a tough guy. Oh, Taking all these some shots. He's gone under the arm though, and he does right to turn in, but he's got to watch out for that head and arm now. Fox is on his back just with his arm trapped, and you can see that Neve's looking to say up, but Fox gets the roll, and now he's on top. Yeah, brilliant work from both guys. It's been a very fast-paced first round. We're about the halfway mark of this round now, so... You won't think they were twice the size of meat. Speed there, well, moving. No, exactly, yeah. See if uh, Fox can impose some damage from the top now. Some good uh, wrist control from, from Dan Neve the bottom I say he's just looking to pin that bicep he's a little high look to pin that bicep and he just needs to floppy arm escape I know it's not the technical term but he needs to let that arm go limp and just yank it out but pulling that head down Neve's looking to uh, work up the body of, yeah. of, of Fox he's climbing that guard now he just needs to make a decision having a close guard in a fight like this is not going to do you any favours yeah, so you, you need to, to go high working. You need to go high, or you need to you need to look for start looking for something. Uh, feet on hips, butterfly, anything like that. Fox uh, keeps flurrying with little strikes, two to the body, one to the head. Simple stuff, but it's effective. It's keeping uh, keeping Dan Neve on his back. Point scorers as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, with all them reversals as well, the, the the judges have got a hard one to score so far. He's just got to he's just got to watch out a little bit. He keeps on putting his hands on floor, does Fox and. Uh, Neve's looking like he's a little bit clued up on his back. I don't know too much about these guys, but Fox is getting a bit wild with his shots when he is dropping the shot down. There we go for the last 10 seconds. Both guys oh. trade shots. Some power off his back there by Neve. If there's one thing I can take from this first round, both these guys are tough and the, uh, they're definitely going to be looking for the finish in they throughout just, these three rounds. They just want to feel the other man's face on their knuckles because <laughs> no matter where they were, there was like literally a 30 second break where they didn't throw punches. I think they were uh, almost a choke on. But except for that, they were definitely throwing off the back, on top, standing. Yeah, both corners um, probably just going to be telling their fighters to keep the pressure on this round. You know, on the feet they were trading, but on that Shea Walsh MMA corner, David Fox definitely landed the biggest strikes in that, in that first round. Yeah, he did. Um, that counter left up to get things started, sent Neve sideways across the cage. He regained himself, and I think, you know, sometimes it, you could be the better fighter, you could be the worst fighter, whatever, but, you know, it takes a few seconds to get settled in. Some people come out gunning, they've got that range in, you know, they've had a great warm-up for whatever reason, that, you know, they've got their eye in yeah. straight away. Sometimes it takes a few minutes just to kind of get rid of those nerves. and yeah, uh, get that switch yeah. actually switched, yeah. And if you get caught cold in the first 20 seconds or so, that's... You know, they're the ones that are going to drop you nine yeah. times out of ten. Referee Stad Simon Stadnik gets us underway for round number two. Inside leg kick from Dan Neve, and again. That's it, and 
Neem's opting for the grappling, so maybe you've seen something on the ground. Maybe that success on the back. Yeah. Giving him a bit of confidence there. Both Fox had good reversals while, when they got to the ground. A big knee from Dan Neem. Beautiful body shot there by Fox. Another big knee by Neve. Just tied up now in a clinch. Neve a man looking to release just yet. Opting to uh, trade knees instead. I say trade is the right word there. It's a you go, I go situation. Dan Neve choosing to sit down there instead of defend the takedown. David Fox ends up on top. He's got Shea Walsh out for the bum flu. Opts to choose to uh, wrap the arm around the other way of the neck. I say, just like passing into a little bit of a cradle here. If he can use this right, he can escape his legs past the side control and then go to work. But that close to cage, sometimes I like to give half guard up just yeah. so I'm set on the hip, you know. Very Randy Couture-esque. Yeah, it just stops that man from climbing up the cage. If you're set on his hip. David Fox on top once again this round in the half guard position. And Neve just looking to wear that butterfly there. I think the outside butterfly though, he's, he's just going to push him into the cage. As you can see, that cage is going to be his enemy in that situation. And that there is what we were talking about earlier, fight IQ. You've got to know where you are at all times. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to sweep him into the centre of the cage there. He had the sweep. The cage just helped Fox out there and kept him on top. Probably about halfway, round, uh, halfway through this second round. David Fox spent plenty of time on top in that first round and he's spent the majority of this round so far. Yeah, and even though Neve had the success in the first first round on the ground, yeah. Fox started with a bang and he ended on top, you know. It's, there could be arguments for it going in Fox's favour right now, you know. He spent more time on top and these are point scorers. Yeah, 100%. 100% and he's got uh, he's, he's got Neve just backed up against the cage now. Neve not really being able to work for much because of the cage. He needs to isolate an arm right now because right now he's holding onto the back of Fox's head because Fox clearly carries some power. Yeah. And he's looking to try and try and climb for a triangle from time to time, but he's not got any arms locked up. Limits his possibilities off the back. It does, yeah, because when that triangle. Of that head. Yeah, when that triangle comes up, you just want to shoot those arms straight back yeah. through. If you haven't got an arm singled out, here we go, he's climbing again, but he's, he's, only got he's managed to get to it over, yet. but I'm not sure that he's going to be able to secure this. He spent a lot of time looking for that triangle, yeah. and, 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 and he tried and tried again, you know. He was having the butterfly sweep on the triangle, he opted for the triangle in the end, but he wasn't. There was no overhooks on the arms, there was no wrist control or anything like it, it was all head control. So his arms, free motion to kind of just shoot back through. You know, you are, wherever one arm goes, the other arm wants to go, well, right? Yeah. So it's two in or two out. When you don't single out that arm, you're giving them the option. You know, they can either stay in and hit you, or they can get out and stand back to the feet. Yeah, 100%. And we're going into this third round now where David Fox could possibly be up two rounds. It could be one apiece. I believe both corners are going to be telling uh, their fighters to be going for the finish in this third round. Yeah, definitely. Just, you know, secure the victory their own way without leaving it in the hands of the judges. I think if if, if desperation is going to set in on any side, it's definitely going to be Neve's side yes. because uh, he just didn't do enough off the back. You know, in jiu-jitsu attempts, yeah, okay, we can call strikes knockout attempts. Yes. You know, yes. they score. You know, submission attempts—they don't really score unless you get a submission on. You know, unless there's absolutely really the nothing else going. Yeah. yeah. So we've got. Uh, Round number three underway. Ah, oh, big Beautiful leg kick there kick. from Neve. Wow. He, he turned Fox around with that yeah. one. And again. Now, this Watch is it. one thing about Fox. He carries a lot of power in both hands, but it means it's planted heavy on his legs. Yeah, 100%. We'll go see if uh, Neve goes up to the head now. He's landed a couple to the leg. Obviously, he's got David Fox thinking about that, so that opens him up for the head kick. If you notice, Fox has just kind of brought down his work rate a little bit because a couple of he steps heavy on that left leg on the jab. Oh, oh and he gets caught. Wow. Oh, Fox is David putting Fox. it on him. David Fox drops him. He's got that front headlock position now. He needs he to push to away side. and stand up, I think. Yeah, he's got like that. He's rolling now, stand up. Big ground and pound coming from David Fox. 
I agree with you, Danny. If I'm David Fox, I'm standing up. And Neve is eating it right now. It sounds like a baseball bat in a tree. Yeah, he's doing very well to move. Obviously, referee Simon Stadnik taking a close look at this. You don't want to give him too much time to recover. And you can Beautiful tell knee to the body there by you can, Fox. You can tell that he's got Shea Walsh in his corner, screaming <laughs> for them knees can. to the body. God. So now we've got David Fox on uh, on top once again in the guard of Dan Neve. Hectic beginning to this third round. And again, fight IQ shines through. If you're Fox, you want to get back up to the feet yeah, because 100%. right now, these long, limb, lo long limbs of Neve are going to tie you up and they're going to buy him some time. Yeah, and it, obviously being Neve on the bottom, he's just going to have to keep working for submissions now because if he needs to win the fight, he's going to have to finish it. And this is why it's the best seat in the house, corner because yeah. we've got him <laughs> right in front of us now. <laughs> I want to see him get a bit of bicep control, get on inside of us shoulders and just pin his arms down but Neve all he's doing right now is just holding on to the back of Fox's head uh, another big shot from uh, David Fox David Fox doing well to keep it uncomfortable though he's got his uh, the top of his head under the chin of Neve which if anybody's a fighter they know that's the most uncomfortable yes. position you can be it straightens you out and once you're straightened out he drops them shots over top nicely and it's frustrating more than anything it, is. it makes it you is. make mistakes I'm glad that in today's day and age there's still scrappy fighters like Fox, <laughs> but he's got the Kimura, he's look, he could be looking for the... He's trying to escape, he's got 20 seconds left. And he goes for it, can he step out? He needs to escape that leg and turn onto his left hip. Oh, 10 Neve seconds left Neve lets go and fight. opts for a shot, but Fox is back, and Fox gets the takedown. This has surely secured it. Neve to a... Guillotine! Oh, wow. What a scramble! <laughs> we had a Kimura to a takedown, to a guillotine, all in the last 20 seconds. Wow! Yeah, what Neve, an end to that fight! Neve did very well in the in, in them very last few seconds of both uh, uh, both the second and third round, but That's wow! And to face adversity like he did, yeah, that by was himself some time when Fox opted to go to the yeah. ground with him, saved himself a little bit of energy and then just flipped it and went for it. A great fight from both guys, but I think I think for the judges, that's going to be David Fox's fight. It's gonna, in my eyes, it's going to be, but that's why I'm not a judge. Well, exactly. So we are going to take this uh, over to our official MC, Mr. Lee Nicholson. Gentlemen, as always, please show your And so this contest has gone the distance. We head to the judges' scorecards, where we have a unanimous decision. 